everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing great um first of all i'm gonna say i'm really sorry for the lack of uploads lately i've just had so much going on um that i'm not gonna get into in this video but yeah i hope you um can forgive me for not uploading as frequently as i used to i will try and get back in the swing of things um if things start to slow down a little bit but yeah i just have a lot going on at the moment anyways with all that said i'm going to show you just a little mini back to school haul <laughs> My son is going off to kindergarten this year, which is so exciting, and he cannot wait to get started um, with being at big school and all that. So I have picked him up some new things for kindergarten. I don't actually have a list of all the supplies that he needs just yet, which is quite frustrating because I'm a planner and organizer and I want to have things ready and um, I want to be you know, um, I want to feel like I have given him everything he needs to have a nice positive and happy start to his schooling. But yeah, we don't get that list. Um, I think after week one, we'll get it or something like that. So he may need more. He may not need more because I have bought him some, I guess, essentials already just to have. And then, and then if he doesn't actually need them for school, then he can just keep them at home and use them at home. So it won't be a waste anyways. So anyways, yeah, I'll get into the haul because that's why you've got the video. I'm going to show you is his backpack. Now, his backpack was actually gifted to him for his fifth birthday, um, which was last year. And I've kept it for him so he can use it for kindergarten and hopefully for a couple of years after that because it's a really good quality backpack. Um, and so this is the one that he got gifted. It's a soccer themed Smiggle backpack in like this beautiful dark blue color. Um, obviously with the soccer details there on the front. It's quite a large size backpack, so I think it's perfect for him to grow into. But it has a ton of different compartments. The zippers are really cute on this too because it comes with like this little metal soccer ball. So cute. And yeah, so it's got like a front compartment here and then another compartment here that's super, super deep. Um, and then he's got, is this the main section? No, he's got another little mini pocket here. And this is kind of like um, fleecy. So I'm not too sure what this is for. It does have like a little, like a little hole here that looks like it could be for earphones. So perhaps this is for like a phone or an iPod or something like that. Um, now I can't zip it back up. So yeah, he does have that little compartment too. And then obviously he's got the big middle section here. And it looks like that. So even inside this um, section, he's got another um, Velcro part here that he can separate his things into if he wishes to do so. And yeah, really cool backpack. I also bought him this Smeagol ball um, for his zipper. So this is for the main zipper. So that was also from Smeagol as well, but you gotta buy that in addition to the bag. It doesn't actually come with the bag. Um, and then it has like the mesh pocket on the side there for a water bottle. And then it has another pocket here. Is this Velcro? No. So it's got like another pocket there, but this one's not mesh. And yeah, really nice, thick, soft straps. Um, it's got like the mesh on the other side and then the actual material of the bag is so soft and smooth I want to say um, I don't even know what it's made from I guess it's like a waterproofing um, kind of material so that's perfect so yeah this is the bag here we're taking for kindergarten so the next thing I'm going to show you is his pencil case so I've just like dumped a whole heap of stuff that I bought to put in his pencil case just to show you guys. And then after the video, I'm going to take it all out of the packaging and put it in here. So like I said, I don't know what supplies he needs or whether he actually does need a pencil case. Because a lot of kindergarten classes have like little tubs where they've got pencils there for everyone to use. So um, he has it just in case. And if he doesn't need it, that's fine. He can use all this stuff at home anyways. So anyways, this is the pencil case I went with. So it's a really cool like asterisky. I don't know, lineish um, design. I don't even know how to describe this. This is from Kmart. I think it was fairly inexpensive. I mean, it's from Kmart, guys, so it's going to be pretty cheap. 
And inside is a blue sharpener that looks like this. And also put in some scissors. These are the ones I got from Audi. It's got this like little alien um, man in the middle. And he also has some matching rubbers or erasers like that. And then I just bought him some plain rubbers as well because I'm sure he'll go through these quite a lot. He'll be using lead pencils for all of his writing and all that in kindy. And then I got him a Flexi ruler. This one was from Big W, I think. Yeah, from Big W. And I got him this green color Flexi ruler, like I said. Looks like that. And then I got him just a bunch of glue sticks. I'm sure he'll need these um, in kindy because I do lots of arts and crafts and things like that. So that's a three pack. And then this thing is actually for me. It's just some permanent markers. And I bought this um, basically just to kind of put his name in things um, so it doesn't rub off and all that. So yeah, just a two pack of permanent markers. Nothing too special there. And yeah, that's everything except for this cardboard that comes with pencil case and yeah so like I said I'll put all this stuff in his pencil case I uh, he probably will need some pens like colored pencils markers and things like that but I don't actually know exactly what he'll need so I just got these little bits and pieces for him to have to start off with he's already got some pencils and things like that at home so I might just put in a couple like lead pencils and things like that just so he has something to start with but yeah they said they won't need anything in the first week so I'm just going with that in, um, those instructions um, but yeah so that's for his pencil case but this is something I know he will definitely need um, even if it's not on the required list um, but it's just a raincoat so I got him this one from Kmart of course I got it in one size too big for him so um, he can grow into it and obviously he's going to be wearing it over clothes anyway so it doesn't matter um, but yeah, it's just this black raincoat. It's a bit hard to see in there on camera. Um, and it has a hoodie as well. And this is nice and long, so it pretty much covers his whole body, like past his shorts, which is really good. So yeah, so I'll throw that in his backpack as well to have. I do want to get him like a little umbrella to put in his bag too, but I couldn't find any in store. So the next thing I got him is some contact. Um, for his books. I haven't bought him any notebooks or anything like that because like I said I don't know what he needs. I did get him some book covers because I know he will eventually get some books and textbooks and things like that that will need to be protected. So I went for the soccer theme because that is what his school bag is this year. So I got three rolls of this and I can always go back and get more depending on how many books he'll have. I just thought three would be a good starting point. And these were just actually from Big W for like I think like a dollar fifty each or something, so really, really cheap. And yeah, when he saw this, he got so excited because it had a soccer ball on it. So yeah, so three packs of those. The next thing I got him is a new lunchbox. This is obviously something he will definitely need. It doesn't have to be on that required list. And I went for the Smiggle, um Bento style lunchbox. I know these can be pretty expensive, but I got it during a, I think it was a twenty percent sale. So. It still was around, I think, other like $40 mark, but I'm hoping this will last him for a couple of years at least. And yeah, I just like the style of these sort of lunch boxes when packing lunches. Um, I will open it to show you what it looks like. So that's what it looks like inside. So it's got these acrylic dividers here. Um, and you get some extra ones as well if you wanted to separate some more sections. Um, but this is meant to be leak proof so you can put even yogurt in these and they have got this suction on the top so it won't leak through his bag. Um, no packages that he has to open, everything will be there for him and yeah, it'll be just a lot easier for him when it comes to lunch. Um, and it has a big clip here on the side. I've Got him to open and close this himself and he can do it with no problems. That's really good. But the design I went with is just this one here. This is basically the only one they had for the boys, actually. So I didn't really have many options to play with. But I think he will like this one because his favorite colors are blue and green. And that's basically what this lunchbox is anyway. So yeah, 
This is his new lunchbox. Speaking of lunch boxes, I did get him some plastic tubs as well. These are basically just like for fruit break because I do have a 10 o'clock fruit break every day. So I thought I would just use these containers to chop up some fruit for him and put them in here. Um, just so they're separate from his lunch box. Um, and he will know like when it's fruit break, he just needs to take out this little container and that will have his fruit in there. The thing I've got is just some plastic sleeves. So these aren't too exciting. I want to get a folder for him and obviously this plastic sleeves will go in that folder for any time he gets anything from school that I need to file away. So yeah, I've got a pack of 50 plastic sleeves ready to go for that. And also got him just this zip up bag. It's like a waterproof bag that he can put notes into or money or whatever he wants um that needs to come you know that needs to go back and forth to school to home um it's just a nice secure little pocket for him to put everything he needs in there um so yeah i just have this at hand in case we need it this is more for home but it's like a little art organizer that he can put on his desk when he needs to do homework or any other activities at home um so he can sort out all of his art supplies like pencils and textures and whatever he wants in here so i thought this was a really cool um art divider and i actually just got this from kmart for three dollars i think these are a new thing out at the moment so if you're looking for something like this they do come in pink as well as this like teal color too the next thing i got is just a mouse pad for him he's been doing the reading eggs app on my laptop and i get him to use the actual mouse as well so he just needed a new mouse pad for that reason and i'm sure he's going to need to be doing homework and things like that on a computer soon too so yeah we just need a new mouse pad so this is the one i've got just a basic black stripy one and another thing i've got to help him keep on track with his homework and his readers and all that um i actually found this from aldi and it's this happy helpers or chores chart this is really cool because it's magnetic so it can actually go on your fridge and the little sticker things in there um so you get like a bunch of those little magnetic stickers they are magnetic as well so they can just stick on the days of the week and then as you finish that week you can just remove them and start all over again so it's absolutely no waste of stickers so it does come with a marker as well in the past so this is really cool i've got one for my daughter as well so this is the one for girls if you have a girl and you wanted to get this they do have different i think they've got a couple of different designs from out if you want to go and have a look um but again it just has the magnetic stickers and the days of the week across um the chart so really cool and the last thing i want to show you actually hasn't arrived yet it was meant to arrive this week but it hasn't so that's a bit of a shame but hopefully it'll arrive by next week before you start school but i'll put a photo or insert um a picture here of what it looks like but basically it's just like a first day last day chalkboard that he can use for just like a photo prop i really like to capture all my kids milestones and especially when it comes to first day and last day of school i think it's a beautiful thing to look back on and just to compare how much he has grown and changed over the years so yeah i'll be taking a photo with him using that chalkboard um but yeah hopefully it'll arrive next week i did order it on ebay um i'll try and leave a link down below for the chalkboard that i ordered if you wanted to check it out as well um, but just so you know it's taking a little while with delivery so just be mindful if you too want that for back to school that is the end of my back to school haul i hope you have enjoyed and i'm wishing all of the kids out there that i need to go back to school this year all the best for their new year i hope it's successful and you have fun learning and all that so i hope you have enjoyed watching everyone and i'll see you in my next one bye